KCSN is brought to you by Ford. Going further so you can. You get NASCAR coverage when you're on the go with NASCAR Mobile. It's the official app of NASCAR. Puts race coverage live in car cameras right at your fingertips. You can even listen to drivers and teams discuss race strategy. You can download it for free at NASCAR.com slash mobile. So after round one, that means that 13 through 24 here are locked in as far as their starting positions. Matt Kenseth, the fastest Toyota that doesn't advance into round two. All the way back through. Mark Truex Jr. has had so much success winning stages, but it will be difficult starting 25th and down through the 40th starting position and Jeffrey Earnhardt. Let's go track side to Marty. Chad with the fastest man in the first round of qualifying here, Dale Earnhardt Jr. And, uh, you know, confidence level in the race car. It's one thing to be fast for one lap. What about tomorrow night? Oh, well, we, we like what our car was able to do in practice. They did a few things that really surprised me. Um, got a runoff of uh, turn two on the quarter panel of somebody, and that run propelled me up to the next guy and, and uh, got on his quarter panel and ended up completing that pass, too. That's the kind of thing you going to have from your car. Some cars are capable of doing that, some aren't. But uh, this one here we brought this weekend looks like it's got good speed. So we'll um, we'll see how we can do in this second round. It'd be nice to get a pole. And, uh, uh, but either way, you know, guys brought a fast car. Obviously, you've been focused on race trim, so a little surprising it's this quick and qualifying trim? We've been trying to make sure the car drives good for the race because I needed to drive real good to be aggressive, uh, be able to make the moves I need to make, and uh, that's more important than earning raw speed. But, uh, you know, it is still a pretty fast car. There you go, fastest so far. And, and again, Kelly, they focus mostly on race trim, so pretty quick here in qualifying as well. Well, we'll see what the 10 car has in plan. Dana Kopetrick, of course, knows what it's like to start from pole here at Daytona. What has your focus been? Are you guys really set up for the speed here at qualifying? you got something that should work well once you get to race. Well, you know, I think that once we get to this point in the season, after been to a couple of super speedways, um, especially having the time we do at Daytona, um, you know, everybody feels like we got what we got. And uh, so we didn't do a mock run or anything. Um, we did two single car runs, and we didn't even really get in traffic that much. So, um, but this is a car we had in the Clash, and the Clash ran pretty good. So, um, yeah, it's a good car. And you know what? Stuart Haas has always built great cars. So, um, especially now that we've got more in house things. So, um, yeah, and it shows there's, there's three of us. So, um, I think that on super speedways, the better you can start, the better off you are because it's not. It's not that easy to just go, I'm going to go to the front. Um, so that's what everybody wants to do. So um, hopefully we can just kind of hang out out there all night and have an awesome finish. We saw you hanging out with one of your teammates, Clint Boyer, along with Dale Jr. The question is, do you get a word in edgewise when Clint's up there kind of holding court? Absolutely. You have to muscle your way in, though, don't you? I mean, Clint's really, the Clint's pretty funny, but... I usually can say something that can make uh, even Clint blush. Ooh, I like it. All right, there. How about that, Rick? Well, there might need to be a microphone put into that conversation if you can make Clint Boyer blush. Round two is coming up next from Daytona. Earnhardt Jr., Chase Elliott, fastest in round one.